Backlog! 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 Oh, it's the Backlog. Hey! What's up, Will? What is this show? The Backlog is a segment of the Wolf Den Podcast where we go through our entire video game collection. 973 games accumulated over almost 40 years of existence on this godforsaken planet. And today we're going to pick a game at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. 713. 713. Okay. Oh, that's a tilde. 713. That is Uncharted Golden Abyss for the PlayStation Vita. We have this? Yes. This uh, came with my Vita. Okay. When I bought the, the PS Vita, it came with like four games. Uh, it was the Walking Dead bundle, but Amazon gave me three extra games, and this was one of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people had this because it came with the, with the Vita. Yes. Also, people love the Vita beloved yeah. console yeah not a lot of great games on the vita not i will of... say that people yeah. people will chew me out for that yeah but really what do you got well, you don't I got think, much i think the problem is what the vita eventually became most beloved for was an indie console and yeah that and jrpgs and jrpgs yeah but that crown was quickly stolen by the switch like almost immediately well when, when the switch came out the yeah, switch came out sure. yeah but th by uh, then sony had already abandoned yeah. the vita but i think the problem uh, was with the vita was that sony pushed it as uh, a console quality experience in your pocket yeah. uh and they used games like uncharted golden abyss uh to really showcase that um and because of that um People were expecting high quality, you know, triple A games and they kept getting indie games and people were getting like confused and the price points were too high. Uh, so like that's kind of why like the the Vita didn't really find success uh, anywhere. That said, though, Uncharted Golden Abyss, a very good game. Genuinely yeah. like the game a lot. It's a it's a classic style Uncharted game. It's not made by Naughty Dog. It's made by uh, the studio Bend known for the Siphon Filter series and uh, Days Gone. Uh, but they do a really good job of like capturing the spirit and the um, the feel of the console games, just in a more portable, more digestible way. I guess you could say this is one of the games that tried really hard to make it like a console yeah. quality experience because this is literally just Uncharted. Yeah, the crosshair is massive. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that before. Yeah, um, but otherwise, this literally just looks like a regular old Uncharted game. Yeah. Uh, did you? How much did you play of this game? I didn't I play it. it at all. I beat it. Oh, you beat it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think this is the lowest rated Uncharted game. Yeah. It's, it's still a decent rating. I yeah. think it is one of the highest rated uh, Vita games. But Probably. It's, but it's like not very highly rated. I mean, rated. like if you're going to compare it to like the console games, obviously it's not going to rank as high. But I think for what it is, you know, a first go of an Uncharted game on a handheld, I think it like hits the mark perfectly. It does suffer from like, you know, usually when a system launches and it has gimmicky things, games will like pack, you know, be packed with like all the console gimmicks. And this game fucking had it in spades. Like you use the touch screen to climb. You use the back of the control, the touchpad on the back of the controller to like climb up ladders and stuff. You, um, it, it uses the gyro in like unintuitive ways. Uh, you have to like, scratch the touch screen in order to like reveal parts of the map and stuff you literally had to use like all the dumb gimmicks of the vita to progress throughout the game some of them you you don't have to use but like some of them they make you use and it kind of does take you out of the experience but like if you get past that like it's a good time i mean sony i mean every first party console company wants to show off every little piece of the hardware that they made yeah uh sony's does that a lot they they want to show off every mm -hmm. little every little nook and cranny of the vita uh i have here the metacritic of uncharted uh the actual lowest rated uncharted is the movie at 45 yeah on metacritic. <laughs> uh but you also have a uh, fortune hunter with 77 that's an ios oh, game yes that's uh, i have i play that game that game's all right what is it it's just um it's like a puzzle game okay yeah well, yeah, Uncharted Golden Abyss has an 80, which yeah. is lower than every other Uncharted game besides the ones that I just mentioned. Right. 
Uh, what's the one that came out after four? Wasn't there like Lost a... Legacy? I don't see that here. I just saw it. Oh, 84. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, this is the lowest rated one. Mm-hmm. 80 is not bad. No. I, I don't want to knock it for that, but uh, it's not an Uncharted game. <laughs> it's an Uncharted game, but like it's not like no. the big bombastic Uncharted game. I, I would still classify it as an Uncharted game because it gets very like very close to giving you like well what? let's see now you played it yes. you played all of the uncharted games yeah. uh except you didn't play lost legacy i did oh you did yeah you played all the uncharted yes. games now metal gear yes has the all of the main games then you got like acid that's like an offshoot doesn't yeah. count but peace walker counts as one of the main games right is this the peace walker of uncharted or is it not that close to a main game no i would okay here's the problem with that because in terms of like you know overall necessity to the canon i would say that yes it is the peace walker of the series because it is it is a canonical entry in the series um it stars uh nolan north and uh the other guy (laughs) as uh nathan drake and sully um it it was uh overseen by Emmy Henning when she was still working at Naughty Dog, so it it has all the necessary ingredients to be a part of the Uncharted series. It serves as a prequel to the first game, so it doesn't contradict anything, but you know it adds a nice bit of like lore and flavor to the overall series. In terms of if it's the piece, is it the Peace Walker of the series? Because Peace Walker is a lot of people's favorite Metal Gear game, and Golden Abyss is nobody's favorite Uncharted <laughs> game. That is a good that's, point. Yeah. yeah. People love Peace Walker. Yeah, so that's that's where I like have that that's where like I take issue with that uh analogy. But like that said, I do think this is a valid entry into the uncharted canon. Hira in the you in the Twitch chat says it's the fifty fourth highest rated Vita game on Metacritic, and that is that is true. Yes. I'm looking at a lot of other things that are rated way higher than that. Um so if you've never played an Uncharted game before, probably don't start with this one. No, don't start with this one. Um, it, I looked it up on how long to beat. It is 10-hour main story. It'll probably take you 12 hours. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the shorter games in the series. Um, That's still a decently long yeah. time to play a game, yeah. especially a, a handheld game. Yeah. I am surprised this never got ported to PS4 yeah. or PS5. Because I don't think it's, it would be that hard to do. I don't think it would be that hard to strip out or readjust any of like the Vita-specific functionality. I mean, because they did it with Gravity Rush. They did it with Tearaway. Tearaway is the most Vita-ass game on the planet, and they found a way to make it work for the PS4. Yeah, so, there's a lot of stuff on the PS4 controller that I guess they could, yeah. they could adapt, but still there was a that there's a lot of Vita shit on there. Yeah. There's even like the camera and stuff. Yeah, it, it yeah. takes a lot. So, but I think this is a game that could easily be adapted to console. I'm like, why they've never done it, I don't know. Uh, and that is a shame. Because I think if more people played this game, it would give P- uh, Sony an incentive to make uh, newer, smaller Uncharted games while we wait for... Well, I don't know if Naughty Dog is going to do another big one. But, you know. I don't know. I think Naughty Dog might have a new IP up their sleeve. Yeah. That's what I think. Guys, thanks for watching the backlog. We're going to get back to our podcast. Yes. But uh, if you're watching after, goodbye. Bye.